Okay, our third plant today is uh, 116. This is Ilex Crenata Hellerai. This is the uh, Heller Holly or Hellerai Japanese Holly. So <clears throat> one more of our, our Japanese Hollies. So this is uh, probably the most different uh, from the species type of the Ilex Crenata that we're gonna do. It is a really low growing, this is a little pancake guy. So it's gonna be much wider than it is tall. Rarely gets uh, taller than uh, a couple, maybe three feet tall uh, with, with some uh, um, good age. And it, it does have fewer crenate teeth at the tip. So generally has maybe three or five uh, crenate teeth total uh, at the, and it, so it'll be towards the tip of the, um, of the leaf. Um, it is a female clone, uh, and this, like many common, like many uh, uh, dwarf uh, cultivars, you're not going to get a lot of flowering and fruiting out of this. But there are a few sporadic fruit on this one, and this is a little bit larger for a heller holly than I'm, I'm typical. Uh, I'm used to seeing. One common trait you won't see it during this part of the uh, year, but uh, during the growing season, it's really common to see the new growth of uh, heller holly. Uh, a, a nice uh, yellow. So it's not what I would call like a, a bright chartreuse or a variegated cultivar, but it certainly adds another little bit of dimension during the growing season. So if you need a uh, low growing uh, foundation plant that's not going to get out of hand, not going to require a lot of maintenance, a uh, Heller Holly is a good choice.